No, they won't do it. The United States of America will not let these Christians that are facing eradication in, in this country. You know, the Christian population, we talk about Iraq a lot, but you know, just four years ago in Syria, there were two million Christians. There are only 400,000 left. And in a city like Aleppo has the largest Christian population left in the Middle East. It's surrounded by, by terrorists. It's surrounded by them. It's only a matter of time. We've been begging. We've been pleading. And so, you know, so frankly, you know, we, we just don't have enough time. So now we're going to European countries. We're going to Latin American countries. And you know, we're going to sustain those that want to stay in the region. But we're going to get these people out. And it's a this shame is, the United States won't this, this is not a shame. This is, this is judgment that will come across uh, 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 all of our lives. Judgment. We will pay for this. This is what that means on the Statue of Liberty. It doesn't mean somebody that wants to come in because they can make more money here in the United States. It means go bring us the people who are being tortured, who are being killed, who are being ridiculed, who are being run out of every country. Those are the ones that are supposed to be embraced by the Statue of Liberty, and we're not doing no, it. No, we're, and we're totally blind. And, and by the way, all these Christians in the Middle East, they were the economic backbone of the Middle East. You know, these were these were the highly educated people. They were the accountants. They were the lawyers. They, every one of these Arab Christians I've met, they had two-story houses and kids in colleges and cars. I mean, this will help our country bringing these people in, yes. but, but we won't take them. Johnny, have they mentioned, have they said why? What's the reason? On, why are they rejecting them? On what grounds? Uh, <laughs> no, they haven't. No, we have, we have just, no idea. Just I, they just it's, refuse. It's so just no. flat. Dis I, I, frankly, it's just flat discrimination. Uh, you know, they they don't want to be perceived as helping one group over another. Tell them. We, tell allow, them. we hey, allow all. What? Yes, yeah. They don't want to be perceived. We allow anybody oh, no, from no, any no. country no, to no, come no, in no, here. No, 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 no. What's the country that is is taking two hundred Christians and they're being pounded because they're only taking Christians. Yeah, Slovakia. You know, Slovakia says we're a Christian mm. country. We don't even have any mosques for Muslims to worship in. So so we'll, we'll take we'll take 200 Christians and and yesterday yeah. and and all and all through the through the week following again and again we'll hear and we have heard about, you know, how they're discriminating against Muslims because they'll only take Christians when there's no threat for the eradication of Islam in the Middle East. And we take all kinds of Muslims here. We all take kinds. all kinds of here, Cubans here. Tell us. Anybody tell who, who claims uh, uh, asylum do you remember the, uh, is granted it. Do you Not remember to mention people who just walk across the border. Yes. Right. I know. Right. I know. So I'm telling you, Johnny, mm. I'm telling you right now, you get them to Mexico, and I'll walk them across this damn border. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that. I mean that. I'll raise a million dollars. I give you my word, we will raise a million dollars to help you. Um, and I don't care where they go, but it is an abomination. And it if is. you get them to Mexico, I personally will walk them across this freaking border. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know, I, 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 I'm 32 years old, right? I wasn't alive when the Holocaust was happening. I couldn't do anything about that. But w when my little kids come back from school, you know, 10 or 12 years from now, and you know, I have a two-year-old and one-year-old, and they asked me where I was when this was happening, I'm going to have a good answer to the question. And I think uh, mm -hmm. you guys who have good answers to the question, lots of people that will listen will have good answers to the question, but not enough people. This is the crisis of our time, and we will respond, or we will look back in history, and, and be, we will weep because of our silence. Wilberforce was right. He said, you can, you can, you can say, you, you, can, you can look at your kids, you can look at yourself, and you can say, um, that you turn the other way, but you can't say you didn't know, and everyone knows what ISIS does to Christians. You have countries um, that are taking these. Um, uh, I just want to tell you right now, just go to mercuryone.org, go to now.mercuryone.org.